Hey there guys, I'm Chris Bowden and welcome to The Geek Group. Today we get to talk about one of the single coolest toys we've ever gotten to play with. Now, you've seen me rant and rave about the awesomeness of the JVC HM100U camera. We love them. There is one thing that you can get for your camera that just takes it totally off the charts. And that's the toy that we're going to talk about. Now, if you've ever worked in video to any degree really, you're probably familiar with the magic that is a Steadicam. These are the, the big camera balancing, inertial balance, isolation things that allow people to walk around with a camera and it doesn't look like they're walking around with a camera. Because if you just grab a camera and walk around with it, there's image stabilization stuff in here, but it's not, it's not good enough to truly go handheld and rah, you know, because people, I, I'm a twitchy guy, so, and so is our cameraman Mikey. So one of the coolest things that exists in this realm is a Steadicam. I mean, these guys are the end all, be all, greatest camera stabilization people in the world. The problem with Steadicams is they cost a metric buttload of money. They're super expensive. Uh, you can get Steadicam, rig I, like when you see professional video guys with like the full Steadicam rig, a Steadicam is so expensive that it comes with the guy. When, if you're in professional video production, like making a real movie and you need a Steadicam for your shot, you don't just go out and buy a Steadicam. You get the operator and he comes with the Steadicam. Usually he owns it. So Tiffin, the company that, that owns Steadicam, came up with this really cool thing for real people. It's, it's a Steadicam for the rest of us. And it's called the Steadicam Merlin. And it's got some things that make it very different from a regular Steadicam and some things that make it very much the same. And I want to take a minute and talk about the Steadicam Merlin because this is just neat physics, man. If nothing else, it's cool. So I want to show you what it is and the basics of how it works. And we'll go into some details on the setup of one for the HM100U because they make a great pair. We use them together all the time. So the Steadicam Merlin itself is this thing. It's just an arm with the front weight and the bottom weight and a plate and there's, here I'll show you here, you can see there's a gimbal right here and this is totally free and you can see it, it'll turn in all three axes and it, it, it'll, it's just totally isolated and it'll move, it's, it's very, very, very low friction. Only a physicist would say that there's any friction there. For all intents and purposes, it's frictionless. Now, it sits on a plate, and the plate is adjustable with a pair of vernier dials. There's a little blue thing right there, you can see it. And you move that one, it moves it left and right, and this one front and back, and that changes your balance point here. And then the arm here adjusts up and down, and you can change the weights around. It comes with a bunch of extra weights, and everything's adjustable. I'm not going to adjust anything right now because it's set up for our camera. Now, it comes with the mounting plate. And here's the plate. I'll let Mikey get a really good close-up there. There's the plate. It's got a bunch of holes in it, and they all have letters in that. For the HM100U, we use plate C. And I won't get too much into the nuts and bolts of how to use this, because if you're getting one of these, they come with a lot of video and book, and just there's, there's a ton of information on the Steadicam and how to use it, because it's hard. There's, it's part science, part art. But you just mount this on the bottom here, and before you do that, you want to get your Swiss Army knife. Yeah, I'm a MacGyver guy. I use my Swiss Army knife for everything. So you just flip the camera over. You put the plate on the bottom. We do this all the time. It's really easy to do. You want to make sure you don't cross thread it. Because, man, that'll screw up your whole day. And just tighten that down. You can put a little bit of tape or something on the bottom if it doesn't sit quite right. But for us, it works pretty well. So we haven't had to put any tape on it. And then you open the clip and you put this on the plate and this is neat because this is this thing is made of magic I'm just gonna line it up at the zero lock that down now if I just let go it goes all wobbly so you always want to trim it with the window open your viewfinder and then you just trim it and get it where it wants to be. Now one of the things that makes this a lot easier is to have a stand for it. See I'm going that way so I push my back one up there. You just take a minute and trim it out.
There, we're just about perfect. It's really fussy. There's a million little adjustments. Now, at this point, the camera is totally isolated from me. You can see my hand wiggles a little bit here, and the camera doesn't move. But that's not impressive. What's impressive is that I can hold this right here, and I can do this. And the camera just doesn't move. And I'm not holding camera. I, I can reach in and, and stabilize the camera and turn it around the direction I want, and that's how you're supposed to use it. But if I'm just holding the handle, I can do that. So I can run around with this thing, and the camera stays happy and perfect and good. So this itself here is a Steadicam Merlin. And this is, you know, you can get this for under a grand. It's, it's not that bad. For what it is, it's really cheap. And it allows you to walk around and do, you know, crane shots and, and tracking and dolly and all kinds of stuff and be really stable. But it's still handheld. It's totally portable. And you can carry this around anywhere you want. Now, you can stop there and be cool, but if you're doing that all day long, you better be built like a gorilla because it's, first off, you have to add uh, 1.3 pounds for every pound of camera weight. So it gets heavy in a, in a hurry and you've got to carry all that around. So it kind of sucks. The solution for that is to go up to the next level and that's to get, and this is where people are used to seeing with Steadicam, is they expect to see the, the big vest and the arm and all that. And they make that for this. You can get an arm and vest rig because in the bottom of the handle is a hole. And uh, here, Mikey, zoom in, show them the hole. There, see, so there's a little hole right there in the bottom of the handle, and that hole makes it all work with the arm and vest. So we're going to grab Mikey, who is our cameraman, and he's already suited up in the vest. Come on out. What's up? You get to be in front of the cameras. How you doing? Um, Welcome okay. to the show. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> it's good to have you back. It's nice to be here, Doc. Yeah, cool. Now, would you care to demo this for yes. the people? Now, while Mikey puts that on, I'll talk about some of the basic parts here. The vest consists of a big plate, which is hard. I think it's made out of plastic. It might be a light. I, no, I think it's plastic. Mm -hmm. um, with some metal plates in it. And it comes off here, and this is the mount, and the mount is all adjustable, and you've got thumb screws, and everything can be tweaked to match the user. And, and then there's this thing, which is the, the most important part for you. That's the place when you don't have a camera on it, and when you need to move around, you need to be able to contain this beast, because it'll flip around. And it moves out of your face. And that just, that's the arm and vest at rest. That's its not in use setup. Now turn around, we'll show them the back. On the back, there's a big pad, and it's about three quarter inch thick. It's very soft, and it doesn't really breathe. You get kind of sweaty wearing this, so you've done it like out in the summertime. And yeah, that, that, that's fun. Yeah. <laughs> I, I smell beautiful after that. Oh yeah, I've, yeah. I've smelled, you open up the case, and be like, <coughs> yeah, yeah that, that needs something. So all right, if you open that out, we'll put the camera on there, and we'll show people the next level. Now what this is, the, the arm here has, there's a, it's all about bearings. This is a combination of things that move with zero friction and things that are absolutely rigid and putting them together in a certain way to isolate vibration. And it's a very similar concept mechanically to what we're doing with the walls in the recording studio to control sound. It's a combination of inertia, damped mass, and, and things that'll you know, bend and move and absorb the vibrations. Because the camera has inertia. The camera wants to be where it is. And Mikey's trying to control that and move it around. So he needs to have some control, but he needs to be isolated from it at the same time. And that's what this does. There's springs down in here and here. There's two here, big springs. Let's, let's give him a better look. So. Yeah, we'll fold it down a bit. And you can see the springs in there. And these balance the weight of the camera. But there's still hinges everywhere. Like here, I'll, I'll, we'll run up the arm. There's a hinge here. There's a hinge here. Oh, uh, you missed this one. Oh, up yeah, down. that's up and down. Okay, so there's a hinge here. There's a hinge there. There's one back here. There's one here. There's one here. And then there's the second one up and down there. Another up and down here. This hinge right here. And then another one at the base. And this whole thing can be adjusted up and down using these thumb screws and in and out. And there's, there's a lot to it. Now, here's where the magic happens. You just take that hole and slide the pin up it. And now, I'm going to trim this for you, OK? Thank you. OK. We'll take this down. I'm going the wrong way. Yes. <laughs> and what these knobs do is, is control the tension on the springs 
to balance everything where it should be. And now at this point, the entire weight of the camera is being supported. Oh, that's why it's hot. Of course, the entire weight of the camera is being supported back here by the whole vest. It disperses the weight throughout Mikey's whole body. The downside in doing that is if Mikey so much as breathes funny, this will move. Like, watch, move just a bit. And, and the whole thing will head over that way. Now, here's the position that he'd normally be in when using it. Now, should we show him the, the cool thing? Oh, let me. You want to do the hop? Yeah. Okay. Just turn the camera are on. You, are you, oh, we're, are, is it on? It will be. Okay. We're actually going to record this. Yeah. Why not? Okay. Give some uh, inside perspective. Now, what you're looking at right now is a, a standard tripod shot, so there's no motion at all. Now, a steady cam is a combination of adding a structure like a tripod to hold the camera, but you're still moving around and you're able to get dolly shots and, and move back and forth and all kinds of things like that. So we're going to let Mike move around a little bit. <laughs> this is wildly uncomfortable. <laughs> Are you having fun? A little bit. Okay. Now, you want to do the hop? Hop like a bunny. I need a hop. Hop like a bunny. Now, uh, see, Mike. It's trimmed can, a little weird. Yeah, it's here. Better? Should be. Yeah. I messed up all your knobs. Yes, you messed up my knobs. Now, I'm going to put just a finger on this to hold it very lightly. Now, hop. You, you got uh, to get a real hop. You're, you're, there you go. That's better. I, I don't hop. <laughs> hop! <laughs> <laughs> Lose 20 pounds and hop! <laughs> <laughs> so that's the basics of what this does, is it allows Mike to walk around and be out in the real world and, and truly run and gun and still have the stability of you know, something akin to a tripod. It's nowhere near as stable as a tripod, but nothing is if you want to be able to move with this level of freedom. So let's, let's show them what, what, you know, the, the kinds of stuff a Steadicam is for. I can just wander around. I can go over here and we can look at, at this camera. And you know, here's this is the little camera, high tech there, little Vario. And uh, you know, we can go around, we can talk about things, we can talk about the camera train here, and we're gonna you know set up balances and do the parallelograms and all the stuff involved there. We can tour the set. We can go around anywhere. We can go down. We can pet the dog. Hi, dog. Yes, did we wake you? I'm terribly sorry. I, <laughs> I wouldn't want our video to disturb your beauty sleep. So here's Omni the Wonder Dog, and you can just go around. Come here, come here, come on, come say hi. Look, we're totally off the set. We're over here. And the Steadicam allows Mike to be able to get anywhere and, and follow me, and he can move pretty fast, and it's very stable. Come on, Mike, run! Run, run for the camera! <laughs> and we can go back into the VSL and show people stuff, and we can, go, we can go bug Moose. Let's go see what Moose is doing. I think she's actually working on a studio. This is a totally different video, but you'll see this soon. Here's Moose in the studio. She's sanding. How you doing? I'm doing all right. Yeah? yeah. How, how goes the mud? The mud is going pretty well. Okay. I've uh, gotten everything down here that I can reach, and I was just about to move the scaffolding into the corner. Okay. And that's the idea, is that we can just we can walk room to room. We can do stuff out in the field. We can be anywhere and duck under things. <laughs> <laughs> and Mike can get video of it, and it just it gives us this incredible freedom without having super twitchy, shaky, bad video. So that's the basics of it, and it comes in a case, but we got a better case. These, by the way, if, if you're into professional video stuff, check these out. The HPRC cases, really, really good. We use an AMRE 2400 for ours. And we put the whole Merlin in there, and it's waterproof, and it's duckproof, and it's just it's good. So yeah, there's a quick look at the Steadicam Merlin and why it is awesome, and why, if you are in the professional video world, you should probably have one. So I'm Chris Bowden with the Geek Group. That crazy guy over there with all that stuff on, that's Mikey. We'll see you next time. You guys have fun. We're going to get back to work. See ya. Are you having fun? You're freaking me out. Because just, <laughs> ah, ah.